Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Loads of Save. Today, we're actually uh, recording pretty early in the morning as it is July 4th. I've decided to w just to wake up at way earlier than I'm used to and uh, start recording. So we don't have to have a lot of fireworks in the background. So if I sound a little uh, out of it, <laughs> no, not out of it, but I sound like if I have like a little sleepy voice, that's the reason. We're in Heimdall? Wait, what? Oh, we seen Elise? Maybe? This seems to be the school. At least there's a lot of, uh, those uniforms around. I think we went here once in Cold Steel 1. Uh, really? But we didn't, like, go inside. Yes, we'll allocate a part of the donation to your tuition. Thank you? I don't think you'll need to worry about anything through graduation. That's very kind of you. Oh, thank you so much. I don't know how I could ever repay you, President Elise. With money! So is she actually like the school president or like student <laughs> council president? This is all just part of my okay. job as student council president. I was gonna say, because she kind of seems like the same age as all the other students here. Besides, there are other students in the same situation as you. Do student council presidents actually have the authority to do that shit, what she just did? So don't worry about it at all, okay? Alright, thanks again. Oh goodness, I'm so relieved. I don't know what to do. I think my appetite even came back. <laughs> well then, would you care for some tea and cookies? They're not poisoned, I swear. I just recently received some as gifts. Wow, are you sure? Well, while I'm here, this is something I've been wanting to ask you. Um, so about your brother. Hmm? He's the Ashton Chevalier, isn't he? He's such a dashing hero. I've been a fan of his for so long. Is that so? Well, he doesn't seem to be very fond of being called a hero. Oh, but he is one! All the girls here admire him so much! I heard he's an instructor now at some new military academy, is that right? I wonder if he has any girls in his class. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> he has two. Oh, is that one rumor true? That your brother and the princess? Elise, are you here? Ah, speak of the devil. Yes, please come in. Oh, I see you already have a guest. <laughs> no, not at all. Wasn't this student voiced a second ago? <laughs> Why is she the only one without a goddamn voice here? Uh, we were just finished talking. I mean, we were gossiping about you and Reen. Have a nice day. I'll just excuse myself. I'd love to talk to you again sometime, Prince, uh, President Elise. Oh dear, did I interrupt something? Just some gossip. Please. We both know you did that on purpose. Were you standing outside listening? <laughs> also, can you just... Well, I well, guess Cedric goes to the military to academy, right? She mentioned Reen. You should have simply told her. Reen's special someone was already decided 14 years ago. Or something like that. Or something less creepy. Ugh, you're always saying such silly things. There are rumors going around about you as well, your highness. A secret rendezvous with the Ashen Chevalier in the Imperial Palace. Was that secret? Promises made for the summer festival, or something like that. We were just talking about you at the ceremony after the Northern War. Oh, so that actually happened. And, um, I asked him for a bit of advice too, but... Gosh, you certainly have gotten tough, Elise. Since you took on the role of student council president, you don't crack nearly as easily. At this point, the students and teachers alike are relying on you. Which is kind of weird, given as a student council president. For like for a minute earlier in the game, when they were calling her pre like the president, I thought that she was actually like the school president. I was like, Jesus Christ, that happened really fast. <laughs> well, since my brother's become so famous, I need to make sure to try my hardest too. I'm gonna lie, I read that in my head as she was reading it, and I thought they said I had to rely and make sure to rely on him 
the hardest. And I was like, what does that mean? I think it is a little bit too early to be doing this. You're right. But even so, there are times when I'm made aware of how little I can actually do. For example, I couldn't do a thing to help her. Who? Her who? It was out of your hands to begin with. It wasn't a question of finances. I hope she's doing well. Though it worries me that she hasn't replied yet. Her who? Indeed. In addition, the way the Vander family and poor Oliver have been treated lately? It's nothing but sad news. I heard there was an incident during the branch campus's field exercises. Reen was there, right? Yes, in Sutherland. It seems there were some suspicious things happening there. He sent me a message telling me to be careful. What? But you're in... What? I see. How thoughtful of him. I got out of the blue. Hey, I'm in danger, so you be careful. She's not in Sutherland. She's in Heimdall. Compared to him, Cedric is... Uh, I haven't a clue. Your Highness... Oh, yes. I drifted off the main topic. In regards to that thing I mentioned before, do you think you would be available for it? Yes. The Student Council's projects will be finished on schedule. Okay. So I would love to join you. We'll find out what that is later, probably. Maybe? Northeastern Erebonia, Nordia Province, Ruhr. Uh, RF Group Headquarters, 12th floor. Push the order for the new devices up on the schedule. If you need to, combine both versions in one shipment. Really just gonna call her blonde here? Why do you do that? Like, I, I, I know, I know, like, some people did jump into this series at the third mark, and, I mean, to be honest, like, uh, I think it, what the hell's the, the publisher's name? I don't know, but they like made it a free weekend and they even posted like, Hey, jump into the trail series with the free weekend of trails of cold steel three. So I know like there are people that played this game and didn't know nothing about the other two, but I feel like when it comes to the name characters, we don't have to be naming them blonde haired woman or blue haired woman or whatever. Like, and I don't know. It's <laughs> just kind of weird. Evaluated by cost, usability, performance, and security. I understood. The Railroad Corporation's operating system has been delivered, right? I guess. Can we move the camera a bit, please? Yes, they'll, they'll be testing it this weekend. Go and attend their tests. Make sure they understand. Uh, I guess we can just keep this the camera for. here for a while. Also, good God, that skirt is short. And not as short as fees. This is Reinford, what is it? But still. You have a call from the Carsbell branch. Shall I connect you to them to the office? Oh, yes. I'll be right there. That's it for the meeting. Thanks, everyone. Yes. What? <laughs> Thank you all so much for the meeting. Yes. What do you, what do you mean, yes? What does that mean? Ah, oh, the general manager of Reinform, she's something else. She's young, beautiful, smart, confident, and caring. Well, what do you expect from the chairman of Arena's daughter? I don't know, have you met Arena? Probably none of the other things that that guy just mentioned. On top of that, she still manages to be so cute, too. I feel sort of sorry for her with how busy she seems, she seems all the time. I wonder if she has a boyfriend. Hey, don't say that. Her heart belongs to all of us here. Okay, creepo. Don't be gross, exactly. But now that I think about it, wasn't there a classmate of hers? Thanks for waiting. It's good to speak with you again. Yeah, thanks. I received the operation report. It seems like the Argus 2 is working out well. Oh, okay, it's Tio. Yes, I guess that voice does kind of fit the master her. master and subcourt system is working out especially nicely. 
On top of that, the long distance communication is even better than I expected. That kind of thing's a bit iffy without signal boosting facilities. Did RF set up a bunch or something? Well, actually, we used a little trick. It's called magic. I'll tell you about it the next time we meet in person. Outside work hours, if we can manage it. I see. I'll have something to talk with you about as well. I'll be looking forward to it, Miss General Manager Elisa Reinberg. Likewise, Chief Teo Plato. Whew, I'm happy to see her, but I need to do something about this never ending schedule of mine. You are the boss. You can make your own goddamn schedule. Pardon me, my lady. Sharon! Oh, come in! You look exactly the same. That makes somewhat sense, I guess. Could've got a new maid outfit, though. I've brought you some tea and cookies. Oh, dear. It's already three? Thanks, Sharon. Stay and have a cup with me. Do you have... Do you have tea and cookies every day at three? Oh, and for everyone out there... <laughs> I have already provided them with coffee and snacks. But not tea, though. Tea's for the boss. Oh, I feel alive again. Seriously, Sharon, your tea and snacks are like an oasis in the desert of my workday. That's just the crack I put in it. My, my. It's good to work hard, but make sure you get proper rest, my lady. Perhaps you should call up the other members of Class 7 on occasion. I'm sorry for making you worry. <laughs> but it won't be that much longer before I get to see... Ugh. Oh my, I suppose I didn't need to mention it after all. I just now that I accidentally it, jacked the volume up on my headphones. You and Lady Laura just the other day. Uh, if you already knew that, then why bother bringing it because up? Because it's Sharon. She needs to tease you. Ugh, whatever. What about you, though? I haven't seen you around lately. It seems like you've been busy helping Mother. Or does it have something to do with your past? <laughs> Oh my, no. Of course not. You know, Sharon, I'd love to trust you there, but in the intro, there was a picture of you standing with Ouroboros, and unfortunately, like, that makes me feel like I can't trust you, even though I love you. Was that really a fucking firework? <laughs> it's the morning! Oh my god. The past is in the past. My love and loyalty will not change because of it. I hope so, because I do love you, but I didn't like that picture of you standing with him. I know you're part of the group and everything, but still. So please, do not worry. Something's off. Yeah! She's being unusually kind and making me reminisce about... Is that unusual for her? She seems like she's always been universally kind, even when she's picking fun of someone or trying to piss off Sarah. Oh, it's them! <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, you're free now, right? Yeah, I'm good. Work's going well, so no fires to put out right now. All right, you two, let's get started. So that was Emma and Machias, I believe. Parm, Old Agria Road. Didn't we just leave here? Oh. Yes, that's right. Emma, what are you doing here? We were just here. I plan on leaving after I've taken care of some unfinished I love the fact here. this is titled by spectacle, by spectacle Woman, Young Woman, and yet we can't see your goddamn face. <laughs> I'll see you there then. Spoilers game. Emma Milstein. If I had been a bit faster, we could have been able to meet you. You can literally teleport. <laughs> Just a little longer. Well, aren't you happy? You humans sure come up with some interesting ideas. 
Like using that communication artifact the prince had hidden away as a relay for your network. It seems like that bracer with all the tricks up his sleeve had something to do with it too. Is that Tovo? <laughs> and don't forget all the support Elisa lent us too. It's thanks to all the help we get from so many different people that we're able to keep going. Mm, I don't know about that. Our kin are supposed to be hidden away guarding our sacrament by ourselves. Yeah, but that's boring. But anyway, seems like some weird things are starting to happen to him. Not being able to come back out of his powered up form, that's not normal. Yes, I hope our spells are able to help him. Yeah, well show up. I would love to be able to use that more frequently, please. But before that, we need to take care of this. This is the only shrine in this region. Give me a hand, Celine. Leave it to me, Emma. Why is the screen shaking like that? Hello? I feel like we might have noticed that like walking into an invisible conflicting cross spell. Okay. So there was just an actual building there? Oh, we're just, I better be getting experience. We're just going this far ahead. Are you insane? What about my bonding events? What about my experience levels? Hi, Rosine. I gotta check out that picture of Annabelle too. What about my Vantage Masters? Oh! I mean, I guess that could be anyone with blue hair, but maybe... It could be someone we know. May came to the branch campus, and having returned from their field exercises in Sutherland, the students began their club activities in earnest. Which involved tennis. And Randy handling a bunch of balls. Due to the... Bagetary... Bagetary restrictions, the branch campus wasn't planning to offer clubs. However, Principal Aurelia used her own funds to personally finance the supplies for them, forcing the students to join a, to found or join a club. Or else! I just like, this Twilight book is amazing. Kari, where is your... Your outfit. Yukata or whatever. Kimono. Uh, the Ranch Campus clubs are for demonstrating our composure as citizens of the Empire. Taking Aurelia's words to heart, the students looked to join clubs that would allow them to diversify their talents. Though their lives were busy, they made time to meet and talk with one another, refreshing and raising each other's spirits. All right, Altina, time for a doggy paddle. Camera, no! Also, apparently Reen's in the... the swimming club now? Oh my god, Tita, you get rid of your sweater. Oh god, Freddy has a knife. Run, Tita! What the hell? <laughs> there was also some changes to the staff. Oh. Hello? Thanks to Marquis High Arms, their butler, Celstein, uh, uh, was, was sent to help the branch campus out as a temporary staff member. Okay. He was put in charge of miscellaneous chores and managing the dormitory. Can you dress up as Sharon at the very least? Also, Mint, a graduate of Thor, was appointed as assistant mechanic. 
She also helped paint the Panzer soldats that were assigned to the branch campus. Okay. That's cool. Fifth and sixth period, gender divided lessons. All right, ladies, let's make sure we follow the recipe. The right ingredients and the right timing are both crucial to making sweets. If you know your way around a kitchen, then I welcome you to help beginners. Yes! Okay. Whisk furiously? <laughs> wow, you're good at this. I'm impressed. Dee, you weren't lying about cooking at home. My parents were always out, so I always had them cook for myself. I can't, I can't make it taste professional grade like Sandy, but... No, no, you're still very good. I only learned a few skills from my mom. Although you say that, your hand looks pretty steady. You know, I suspect you possess some unexpectedly high cooking, cooking skills. What do you mean unexpectedly? Allie, you're spilling! Oh, sorry. Huh, I can't lose. I need to make something nice for Instructor Reen. You, you're... Oh, Muse, are you a fan of Instructor Reen? Of course I am. I'm so jealous of Yuna and Altina. I'm sure a lot of people look up to him. I just hope that, at the very least, I can always be in the back of his mind. I, I see. I mean, he's somewhat of a celebrity. His popularity shouldn't be surprising. However, I haven't really heard of any stories about him with any ladies. You should play the first two games. He seemed quite intimate with the people of cla the old Class 7, though. The oh, the ones who saved us at the field exercises? Do you mean Miss Laura of the of the uh, Arsides family, or Miss Fee of the Bracers? They seem to be more... Hmm. Uh, there's, they, there seem to be more, too. I'm really curious. He really he's really close to the super cool Laura and the super cute Fee. Not to mention Elliot, he's cute too! Please calm down, Yuna. <laughs> oh, that's nice too. A girl's mind loves the wander. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Are you talking about Instructor Reen? He's really handsome, but the school has a lot of handsome people. Yeah, Instructor Randolph is good looking, and Instructor Michael would be handsome if he wasn't so annoying. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to put it. Teehee, the boys are pretty cute too. Kurt's a pretty boy and Ash is a bad boy. Yes, Kurt's prettiness should be illegal. He's prettier than the girls. Kyrie is, is acceptable since he's just cute. Ash is kind of scary. If we were to analyze the others, Stark is the intelligent type and Gustav is the strong silent type. Wayne is the stubborn type, Pablo is the jokester, and Freddy is the mysterious outsider that's probably a murderer like me. Would you say Sydney is an unfortunate handsome type? That's a little too rude, don't you think? Hey, hey, we're in the middle of the cooking class right now. Save the discussion for after class. Okay. So, what is your relationship with Instructor Reen, Instructor Toa? Huh? Oh, I was wondering that too. As well as Tita in that red-headed bracer. Oh, he's nice. He's just my type. I heard that he's also pretty close with the Imperial Princess. Oh, I heard those rumors too. Though personally, I've been more focused on her brother, the Prince. Oh, me too. He's so mature. Uh, oh, wait. Cedric or all Oliver? Uh, everyone be quiet. This is total chaos. You say you did this on purpose, didn't you? Tee what are you talking about? Oval Computer Primer. Why is this gender divided? That concludes the overview. Like, everyone should know how to cook and everyone should know how to use a computer. The rest of your time will be self-study. I was given a task program from the foundation that even a monkey could understand. Does this world have actual monkeys or monster, just monster monkeys? Probably just monster monkeys. Just follow the prompts on screen one at a time. With that being said, how'd they come up with the word monkey then if they don't have actual monkeys and just monster monkeys? Feel free to talk. That is all.
Um, seriously? If you don't understand something, I'll help you out. But try to figure it out as much as you can on your own. Guess we just gotta do this. I bet the girls are having fun making sweets right about now. Well, oh god. Well, the lads will be making ourselves some curry next period. <laughs> Nothing for it. Anyway, let's get started. Huh. Maybe we can do this? Ah, this is way harder than piling a Panzer Soldat. That sounds... wrong. <laughs> it's a computer. Another loop, I guess, but I think it'll work this way. I, I think I'm getting it. Oh, this is kind of interesting. It's like skinning someone alive. Click, click. What the heck, Kurt? How are you solving everything so easily? Oh my god, no! It's reminiscent of sword playing chess. I'll demonstrate the basic idea to you both. Once you understand that, the first part should be simple. Cheers, I guess. Ah, uh, he's good looking and smart. Looks like everyone is doing okay now. I'm wearing my glasses for some reason. The, l the later questions might give them some trouble. Ash? Ash, let's team up. Even though we're just beginners, if we join forces... Uh, this is stupid. Just a big waste of time. I'm out. Try your best or whatever. Hey, Ash, you're... Wow, it's Trick the Reen, look at this! It's full of porn! All the questions are already solved. What? No way! Hold on, click, click. Let me just delete all these. Not all these answers are correct, but this is easily a passing score. I wonder if you guys experienced it with Orbital Computers. I'm not that surprised. It's almost weird how good at it he is. Are you kidding me? Not only is he good looking, a uh, good looking delinquent, and he's smart, but he's smart too? Hey now, class is still in session. Take your time and look over the problem carefully. If the second half gets seems difficult, feel free, feel free to ask me questions. I just gotta delete Ash's answers and make him fail. Uh, how do I, how do I learn to touch type, what? Oh, you mean t uh, typing? Oh, okay, I better make it me look cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi. Good work, everyone. Things are pretty busy today. How did cooking class go for you two? Dots, dots. Um. Hey, Kurt, did I say something wrong? I don't know. It seems they had an exciting time in class today, however. It would appear you often encounter trouble with women. I advise giving more care to your words. Huh. Well, I guess it wasn't really his fault. So long as he's not aware, we shouldn't worry about it. You know you're talking a lot, right? Anyway, your club activity has uh, started, so take care of yourselves and make sure you don't strain anything. Uh, also, tomorrow's a free day. Hobbies, games, club activities, it's up to you to do what you want. However, keep in mind, early next week is Panzer Soldat training, and on the weekend, we'll have our next set of field exercises. My word, time is flying. You don't know where you're, we're going next, do you, Instructor? Not yet. We'll be briefed on it tomorrow. Considering how the last one turned out, I'm, sure, I'm not sure how things will go. Either way, make sure you're well rest rested. Understood. The mission aside, I'm concerned by the Society's actions. Yeah, I got a bad feeling they're up to more more of their, their schemes, yeah? Seeing how they literally have told us that they're scheming something. By the way, if the government, if the government calls for you again, will we be left behind like last time, Instructor Reen? Altina took this personally. Come to think of it, I cannot deny our lack of experience, but surely we can be trusted to assist you. To be perfectly honest, I did it for your safety. However, you have all been training and studying hard for two months now. No promises, but if it's po but if possible, I'll, I'll I'd like all of you to help out. You say that, but I swear to God, if we get control and they're level sixteen still, Reen, we're leaving them behind. Dots. Did you hear that? He totally promised. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure he said he, he's not promising anything. I'll do my utmost. Would it be possible to schedule some additional training? I'll see what I can do. That includes homeroom. Altina, please lead the class. Understood. Stand. Bow. So, Miss, Mr. Michael's gonna be back by noon tomorrow. Yeah, it seems he's preparing the next location for our field exercises. He told me he'd be back in time for briefing. The next location... Doesn't matter where it is. We just gotta put our big boy trousers and march out there like it's no sweat. Though I bet it really is no sweat for our principal. <laughs> well, she does wear the pants around here. The students did well d during our last field exercises, too. Randolph Toa, let's give it our all. Yes, of course. We also need to take care of the club activities. Yeah, let's help him out. And don't, but don't smother them. I'm gonna smother all of them. With a loving pillow. Kronos, sorry. Well then, I think I'll head home for after making my rounds. I should check on the students. Or I, maybe, or maybe it'd be good to talk with Mint or Celestin again. Or maybe I should go train. Deciding the Arcanisms. Maybe I should ask the principal or the professor about them. You can select characters not currently in party when cooking. Oh, what? From chapter two onward, you have the, you can have characters cook even when they're not in the party. Okay. Obtain costumes, dress shirts for everyone, and attachments item for Altina. Uh, you can set each. Wait, what? You can set each character's costume and attachment. Okay, yeah. If no costume is equipped, the character's costume will often change with the story. During some scenes, costumes relevant to the scene will be shown, even if the costume item is equipped. Reen get a message on his Arcus, too. Uh, Arcus? Thank you, message from Milliam? Thanks for the cute purse. I thought that the cursed purse. Uh, the purse you sent from is from Parm, right? I love it! It's cute! It holds all my stuff, and it's super awesome! Thank you so, so, so much, Reen! Good, I'm glad she likes it. Uh, okay. Uh, status? You guys are level 16! You are staying behind! Also, you two need to get some orders, and please let them be great. So what did we get? Green shirt. Okay. So, so yeah, sans hat without hat. Um. Hell yeah! Oh yeah! Absolutely, put that goddamn hat on. What are you insane? Um. All right. Well, I guess. I should go around and talk to all the students and Toa. Yeah, what is going on? He's in charge of the medical arm. Oh. Until we have something to officially take over anyways. Okay. Do you Yeah, I mean, I know you were like the failed training medic, but You now the school nurse? I mean, good for you, Carrie, man. Just, uh... Yeah, good luck. You're gonna need it. Okay, I, yeah, I guess I'll just run around and talk to everyone and see if there's anything interesting, and I'll save the exclamation points for after. Well, um... Apparently, Michael has... <laughs> gotten into some cards recently. Uh... We'll definitely go and fight him in a second, though. That's kind of hilarious. Yeah, you really shouldn't compare yourself to a butler that's been butlering for, like, his entire life. Um, buy this, sure. Buy more battle scopes, because why not? I have a lot more money than I thought I would. Then again, I'm not, like, buying any of this stuff, which I probably should <laughs> at some point. I might make more mashed potatoes, I'll get more money. Uh, hi, Major Michael. Oh, Major Irving. That's not what your title just said, it said Major Michael. I thought you left. Well, I needed to get some materials, so I came back to gather them. 
but all the train times are rather rather inconvenient. So with efficiency in mind, I decided to leave after eating dinner. <laughs> I see. So unfortunately, I have some free time. Sorcerer, would you like to play Vantage Masters with me? Vantage Masters, sure, but I didn't know you played Major Irving. If it were just a simple game, I wouldn't, but Vantage Masters is a game of strategy, and it's a good it has a good reputation within the RMB. Thought perhaps we could use it to teach the students strategy, so I got myself a set of cards. I see. You really put some thought into it. I'd be honored to play against you and kick your ass. I'm gonna destroy you. Uh, challenge? Yeah. Um, I don't think we have anything I need to change. A medic, that might be good. Yeah, we're gonna stick with the ranger for now. Because ranged. Let us begin. I hope you go first. Good. Um. Okay. Give me an attack creasing item. Fuck. Well, I'm gonna have to move her up there. Oh, that's just rude. Stop it. Okay, my turn. I get three. Uh, move up here. Do nothing. Guard her. Not enough mana. Oh, it's four. All right. And I guess put these here. And hopefully they die. And then you can attack... I guess this one, to try and weaken it. And then we'll end. Okay, that that's fine. Give me an attack boosting card, please. That is not attack boosting. Okay, you killed your plus three. Also did not give me attack boosting. What the hell, game? Now you're just being mean. Alright, so we're gonna move you back here. And attack... You? No, you. Get rid of that protection. And we'll put you back here. And you back here to protect me. Though we probably won't need it. And then we'll end. That's fine. That's not fine. That's rude. You get to move twice? Oh, right, you do get to move twice, don't you? Yes! Uh, restores HP. Sure, we'll put you like. Right. Here, and then we'll grab this, and then we'll put this up here, and then we'll attack you, and then attack you, and then we're good, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's fine. I mean, that's fine, too. Attack. Well, that's still pretty good, actually. Uh, so, move down here. Attack. No, wait. No, 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 no. Yeah. Use this. And then you can attack. And then you can attack. And then you can heal. And then we can end the turn. You are so dead. I mean, they're not dead. Oh, nope, they're dead. 
told you I was gonna kick your ass, dog. You didn't believe me. And this is what you get. Utter stoppage. Impressive. I know. Wall three cards, all right. Is range just really broken in Vantage Masters or is it just me? Am I broken? Because I feel like range is broken, but at the same time, I feel like I am broken. You looking for ingredients? No. What? What? You looking for ingredients? Why is that voice? Freddy, what the hell, man? Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you. 30 fresh herbs and 10 ripe strawberries. Thank you. Yeah. That's cool. Where did the chickens come from? I didn't, I didn't find you any eggs. Also, what do those ripe berries do? Um, restore 600 HP. Not great, but pretty good. And we got 30 fresh herbs. That is a... Uh, that is a ton. <laughs> that is just a ton. Uh, cooking. Where's the recipe? There we go. So I can make... Just whatever now? Huh. Yeah, maybe I will. I don't know. Next time we get an ingredient store or something like that, then I could uh, go ahead and just make a bunch of uh, meals and stuff like that. All right, so I've talked to all non-marked people, so let's go talk to all the quest objectives. Hi, Mint. <laughs> I thought we were coming to talk to Valmar. Huh, just like that. How do you like that, Val? Hmm, it feels as though I have a greater range of movement in my shoulder. I know, right? Way to go, me! Mint, what are you doing here? Oh! Hey, Reen! Guess what? I just... Fell? Look out! Good catch, Valmar. Uh, owie! I cracked my huh? butt! Are you unharmed? How? <laughs> I'm just fine, thanks. Nice one, Valmar. You need to be careful. Oh, my heart skipped a beat there. Tee <laughs> sorry. Now that I'm an engineer, I can appreciate just how cool you really are, Val. When I was on the creators, I always wanted them to do maintenance on you. Back then, Clara took care of everything. Ah, the silent maestra. I remember her. She was creepy. Anyway, thanks for coming, Mint. Uh, but I have to say, I'm surprised to see you after our last field exercise. Oh, I just had, I just thought it might be good training for me. Not to mention, I wanted to be a reliable role model for the for, my, for the underclassmen. Well, it would have been asking too much of Tita with all the work she has to do. Thanks, Mint. We could really use your help around here. Yes, thank you, new Meister candidate. <laughs> oh, you guys, glad to be here to help you both. Uh. Note added for mint. Okay. I will count on you. Oh, ma yeah. We know that. I don't know why I was surprised for a second. <laughs> I don't know why I was like, yeah, of course we know that Monk and Rosina are in leaves. We've talked to them. And we actually call them regularly. Hey, are you gonna be able to like upgrade him in like attacks and shit like that soon? Like, I was kind of hoping Tita would do it at some point, but I know what, what the what the hell were they called? They were a type of orb mint we would put in them in the the second game. So I'm kind of hoping we get to do that soon. Hi, Schmitty. What the hell is this? Oh, is this part of the the ion? Mm, I see. Professor, is this... It's a piece of the giant ion that appeared in Sutherland. I had the RMP, RMP bring me everything they were able to collect. Irving told me them they shouldn't bother me with this, but who is he to decide? He must have really forced them. So, what were your findings? I can't do an accurate analysis with the piece alone, or the small. Though I can say one thing. From an engineering standpoint, the ion moves strangely. Strangely? 
The alley developed by the society Kurdalgon, was it? I don't know. It's much more superior metal than the special steel used for the Spanja, uh, Sp Spanzer, the Panzer Soldats. But according to my testing, it's nowhere close to being strong enough to support such a heavy body. Then on the fact that it's block, uh, that, that it blocked a blade made from Zamarian ore. Ultimately, I got through, but yeah. According to Valmar, some kind of power was moving through that machine. Very well, if we're lucky. We may even meet the conditions to start it up. Well, the experiment's over, so whatever. What do they mean by that anyways? I'll research as much as I can with this small piece. You should go home today and make sure to keep your, up your health. That way, we'll be able to get good data from the test. A test at the keep? Are we doing it tomorrow? Of course, I've already started it as, as a mandatory request. Uh, I've added a... Uh, I already counted the students as participants, as you requested. Understood. Thank you, Professor Schmitty. Ah, now go on, I'm busy. No? <laughs> she is extremely careless. Just very... Yeah, right? But at the same time, I'm kind of glad she's around to just break you. That would be hilarious. Mint has sure loving up things around here. Anyways, training at the keep. I'll need to be extra careful having Yuna and Kurt with me. Uh, 50 cent? Or 50 Mira? A 50 Mira coin? Hey there, didn't realize you were in here. Hey there, first year. Which hand is the coin in? Left or right? You dropped it in your bag. No, that's not Crow. Oh. Well, did I surprise you? Sorry about that. Thanks for picking it up. Oh, here. Came to get some coffee, but ended up dropping my change on the floor. I'm just surprised to see how common orbital vending machines have become already. I think they're only common here at the branch campus. Oh, it could be. Anyways, I gotta go run out some errands. See you later! Man, that's... Did you need something from me? I just want to talk to you about something. <laughs> wow. Come to think of it, they are kind of similar. I shouldn't bother him. I better get going. Uh, I wouldn't really call them similar. I, I guess, kind of... Kind of? Nah, not really. Yeah, if you look really deep, maybe you can find some traits that are similar. But honestly, you can do that with anyone. And they're tall, kind of. Crow was tall, if I remember correctly, a little bit. Taller than me. Wait, is it not here? Oh, it's on the other floor. Hello? Oh, we already read all these, I think. I'm just gonna quickly go through and, like, just get them marked down if I haven't. I don't remember this side being lit up, though. No, they're definitely... Okay, no, I definitely have read all these. Okay, great. I think. <laughs> In we go. Hello. Now that the clubs have been found, the school seems to be finally coming together. We will arrange for their equipment, but for the most part, the students themselves will be responsible for running their clubs. Be sure to guide the students to clubs that will enrich their stay here, not simply kill time. Certainly. To be honest, I'm a little surprised. I wouldn't have expected you to be so gung-ho about the student student clubs. Well, I, too, am a graduate of Thor's. I feel as it's my duty to carry on the Thor's philosophy uh, here at the branch campus. Thus, it makes perfect sense for us to have a flourishing group of clubs, no? It definitely seems like a good change of pace for the students. Their lives were in danger just the other day, but you wouldn't know that but from looking at them. It's been like a month, dog. Did you see that time skip? It's been a while. Was that part of your plan? You can interpret it however you like, but our fledglings should know, uh, now be well aware of the true meaning of the phrase, be ever vigilant, as though the world is a battlefield. It should be clear to any who lie uh, lay eyes on Drekno Forest, uh, Fortress. Yeah. Danger is ever present in this world of ours. We must live every day as though we're on the battlefield. 
To that end, we should treat that club activities as yet another form of training. Be ever vigilant, Ashen Chevalier. Yeah, of course. I'll watch over the students. Now I'm just kind of thinking what club she was actually part of in Thor's. Were you part of the erotic book club like Emma and them? I, for some reason, I feel like that's fitting. Like, you could have been in the sword club. That would make sense, too. Or swimming like Lara. But I'm getting real hidden pervert vibes from you, actually. Not only, are these, not only as the instructor of Class 7, but as the instructor of the branch campus as well. <laughs> well said. Oh, and one more thing. I made arrangements uh, for the matter we spoke of before. It should arrive tomorrow. Do look forward to it. Ah, right. How about helping the townsfolk out? Understood. I'll do my best. Are you giving me more quests? Okay. I think we have one more, uh... Yeah, required. Terminal room. Oh, it sells then. Hello. Hmm, let's look. Oh, Selston, what are you up to? Good day, Miss Masserine. I was just fixing up some of the terminals. I defrag them, so they should operate more efficiently now. Wow, that is... That is something I haven't heard of in a long time. I think... Yeah, I think most computers just do that automatically now, like in the background. And back in the day, you actually had to do that shit like manually. Just go into the menu and go defrag and then run it. And usually, sometimes you would have to do it twice. But, yeah. You know how to handle the orbital computers, too? What can't you do? You can't beat us in a fight. We proved that in the second one. Thanks again for coming to help us out here. Managing our dorms, doing maintenance on our computers. I don't know what we'd have done without you. It's an honor to be of assistance. As I was sent here by my lord, I am simply performing my job. And though this is a branch campus, it still has the same pleasant as atmosphere as I, I associate with Thor's. Why well, it even brings back fond memories of my time helping out in the upperclassmen's dorm. That's so, happy to hear it. It's been a while since I've been able to reach Patrick. I suppose he's swamped with work, right? Indeed, I'm told he's extremely busy with his duties uh, to the Marquis. It's all thanks to you and your classmates. It's safe to say he would not have grown, in ha grown half as much without your influence. Considering that, helping out here is just my way of repaying my debt of gratitude. Thank you, Selson. Really? And if you ever want me to kick Patrick's ass again, just let me know. Oh yeah, also, I spoke with the principal. You've been processing all the help requests we've gotten in, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, yes, that is correct. I was told that was Lady Toa's job back when she was a student. I shall finish compiling them tonight. Please wait until then. Sure thing. See you tomorrow, Selson. Yes, likewise. Okay, so you're the new Toa? I've checked everywhere I needed to. I'll leave from the main gate once I've finished all my business here. AKA, I'm already done with everything, so I should leave through the main gate. But, you know, that's totally going to be like next time, though. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a great day.